some things in the chemistry lab are so dangerous, they need to be kept under lock and key. This is a science egg, laid by the finest science chickens of northern central Alberta. Let's see if we can use it to help demonstrate the properties of gases. Step one, it needs to be hard boiled. Dunk it in some water at some temperature for, I don't know, say 10 minutes or so. Yeah, that's probably good. Next step, peel it. You want to keep the egg intact as much as possible. As you can see, it uh, doesn't have to be perfect. Now our goal is to get the egg into this flask, using chemistry, of course. But how can we do that? Well, one thing I know is that hotter molecules move faster than colder ones. And I also know that alcohol is flammable. If I light it on fire, it's going to generate heat, which is going to cause the gas molecules inside the flask to speed up. Also, I like lighting things on fire. Okay, I'll be quiet so you can observe. And voila, the egg is in. Now, can you explain why? Think about what the molecules are doing from the moment that the egg makes a seal around the neck of the flask. And make sure you're thinking not just about the molecules inside the flask, but also the ones outside. If you need a hint, this is how I get the egg out. It's important that the water is hot. Here, eggy, eggy, eggy. That's a good egg. So, can you explain the egg-sucking flask? Drop a comment if you think you can, and we'll keep this fella safe and sound. Until next time.